Yesterday, the parents of Britain's biggest family, the Radfords, shared the excitable moment that they revealed that their children, uh, the, uh, to, to their children, the gender of their new sibling and uh, and the couple's 19th baby. I to the happy parents, Noel and Sue Radford, to find out how they're preparing for the latest addition to their brood. Noel and Sue, uh, there's actually three generations of Radfords there with you right now. Lovely to speak to you this morning. Sue, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good now. I'm not feeling as tired, and I've not got any morning sickness anymore, so I'm feeling really good. So introduce yeah, us to... Uh, now, so... Introduce us to who you've got on your, uh, on your sofa. We've got um, April, granddaughter, Sophie, um, Oscar, Casper, Noel, Hallie, and then little Leo. So Hallie is your Youngest. last baby, uh, uh, who's only eight months old. Um, and so was this yeah. pregnancy something of a surprise? Um, we hadn't been trying, but then we weren't being careful either. I sort of <laughs> thought, with me being 40, that it probably wouldn't happen quite so quickly. So I suppose in that way, yeah, it was a little bit of um, a shock and a surprise, but a very nice one. So, um, I'm sure Hallie's going to love having a new little sister. Can yeah. I ask you, you've been pregnant for 12 years. Um, how are you doing this physically, mentally? I've done it three times. It's exhausting. How are you doing it? <laughs> um, when you sort of look at it like that, it's an awfully long time, isn't it? But, um, I, you know, I don't mind pregnancy. I do get a little bit of sickness and I do feel tired, but generally I do pregnancy really well. So, um, for me, I don't mind it. <laughs> so, it's, it's good. The, um... A professionally outraged brigade will almost certainly be on Twitter now saying uh, this is incredible, they cost us a fortune. Um, we should point out at this stage you have a successful bakery, you've a, uh, got a successful online pie making company, so you are self-supportive. Yes we are and um, it's something we're quite proud of, you know, it, um, we're not sat at home doing nothing all day like people imagine you to be. We are out hard working and working long hours to provide for all our children and um, just do the best we can, really. We're just looking at some pictures of, uh, of you guys uh, at mealtimes. I can't imagine what that's like. In one week, you get through 120 pints of milk, 20 loaves of bread, 14 boxes of cereal, 28 toilet rolls. So you've got, got your 10-bedroom house, drive a 15-seater minibus and can go up to 12 loads of washing in one day. My God, if there was ever a tumble dryer that was in danger, it's got to be that one. <laughs> <laughs> so how do Honestly, how my tumble dryer is never ever off. <laughs> <laughs> how do you um how do you organize meal times? Um well both Sue and I we do the meal together and it is it's just um it's one meal. Uh we're not a hotel, we don't cater for everybody's needs, so it's one meal, everybody sits around at tea time and we have the meal together and that's it. Meal. Done and dusted. In and one what go. about bedtimes how do you organize that lot into bed <laughs> that can be a little bit crazy at times obviously the younger ones go at a set bedtime and then the middle children they go a little bit later but then sort of the older ones from say 10 upwards tend to be a little bit well it's, it's a bit challenging isn't it yeah yeah <laughs> Do you ever get, get time as a but, couple? Um, Quite yeah. obviously they do. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's right. That's impressive. Times there is a couple. Well, we know how you spend your oh, spare time. It keeps us warm. Oh dear. Will we you? do actually though, to be fair, we we do. We we do have a date night once, um, once a, month. a month. We do yeah. try and do that, yeah. And um, but obviously we do get a lot of time together. The the obvious question, <laughs> just to, to come to a conclusion, is um any more? Oh <laughs> That's the question that loads of people have asked us, but um to be honest, I'm kind of feeling now that this little one will definitely be our last, although I did say that with Hallie, 
But yeah, I do. We said that a long time ago. <laughs> we did. So who knows? I'm kind of sort of, you know, what will be will be, and we'll just have to see. You are nearly at 20, though. Stop it. Nearly. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I know a lot of people say, oh, you can't, you, you can't finish on 19, you can't finish on an odd number, you have to have 20. But... I don't mind odd numbers, to be honest, <laughs> but I think a lot of people are sort of, well, well you've got we to have you... an even number. Love to everybody, we wish you well. It's and really, good luck with the next really one. lovely thank to talk you. to you. Uh, thank you, thank you, guys. And uh, and they you. came into into the studio a while ago. I think it was when you were might have been off having, yeah, having chess, and they came in. It's such a lovely family. So they got uh, Chris, twenty five; Sophie, twenty two, who was on the sofa there. Got Chloe, nineteen; Jack, seventeen; Daniel, fifteen; Luke, fourteen; Millie, thirteen; Kate, twelve; James, eleven; Ellie, nine; Amy, eight; Josh, seven; Max, six; Tilly, four; Oscar, three; Casper, two; and Hallie, who's eight months old. That's what? That's every year. Yeah. Wow. There you go. What a family.